Hey guys, it's Nick here from the darkroom.io. Uh, today I'm here to talk to you about Photoshop CC 2015 and how they are phasing out the Save for Web feature. You may have already noticed that, hence why you're probably viewing this video and you're looking for a good alternative like I was. Um, but nonetheless, it's extremely frustrating when the majority of the market uh, needs this feature. Uh, especially with um, Google and other search engines being so strict with uh, page load times and um, requiring, you know, uh, mobile mobile friendly assets. So, um, as you've probably seen, we'll go to Photoshop here. They have changed. There's no more save for web under the file menu. So, if you were to do your typical shortcut, you can't do it. They've put it under export and it's legacy so they won't be supporting it any further the this particular image is a little over 500 kilobytes and it's a ping and i need it to be saved as a ping not as a jpeg uh, however when i try to do what i can to save this ping down and get it to a reasonable level um i can't really do it uh, i want it below 200 kilobytes but in uh, Save for Web and Photoshop CC 2015, I can't get it to that point, and it's frustrating me. So one of the alternatives that I found, and it seems to be really good, is it's called Image Alpha. And let me go to that. So in Image Alpha, now that I've got it open, it's a very simple compression tool. All you have to do is take your your file, see, mine's roughly 537 kilobytes. Just take this image, drag it into their interface, and I'm going to pick new quant, the type of processing on it, drop it down to 32 colors, and you can see I'm at 182 kilobytes, which is perfectly reasonable. Um, I'm finding that this is a much better solution, um, particularly with pings at the moment, compared to JPEGs in Photoshop. Uh, some people I noticed are not able to get to save for web at all. It's all grayed out in their menu. Um, so this might be a really good alternative. Um, again, this is called Image Alpha. This is for Mac. For PC, they have a program called Color Quantizer. Um, that one is also a really good resource. So if you're struggling for saving your web assets through Photoshop, try these two alternatives. Again, it's Image Alpha for Mac and Color Quantizer for the PC. Try them out. Let me know what you think. Uh, seems to be helping me right now, um, but I know in the future there's going to be some growing pains uh, without Save for Web available. Um, my opinion is that they're starting to push the Generate feature, but I don't know how that's going to apply uh, for people that really need to optimize their assets. So, um, hope this helps. Um, shoot me a shoot me a message if you need any help uh, at Nick MKE on Twitter or go to thedarkroom.io. Um, let me know what you think.